Hey boys and girls, today we are going to begin creating our Mexican cacti art piece. We are going to think about composition or the way you will arrange your cacti in the flower pot. We are going to be thinking of the principles of design such as balance and contrast. We will be using lines that repeat to make a pattern and we are going to use the elements of art such as line, shape, color and value to create our masterpiece. So let's get started. Let's get started on our cacti project. The materials you will need is a 9 by 13 sheet of art paper. You'll need a ruler, a felt tip pen, pencil, and a regular computer paper. To create our pot for our cacti, we are going to use the folding paper technique where we take our paper, computer paper, hold it portrait style, crease the edge. We're going to create our vase and it's gonna have a line of symmetry so what you create on one end will appear exactly the same on the other end. I'm gonna put my regular paper to the side for now. I don't wanna create my pot taller than the half sheet of my paper because then I won't have room for the cacti on top. So starting maybe around here, I'm going to create a curved line a little bit up just like that and then I'm going to design the side of my pot however I would like to. There's different types of ways you can design your pot. You can have it have a wavy line, a straight diagonal line for your pot. For this example I think I'm going to use a curved line Once you have that, you can grab some scissors and cut it out while your paper is still folded. All right, now you have a pot that has these same sides on both ends. And you have that line of symmetry that goes down the center. I'm going to take my paper back and align my pot so the bottom is all the way on the bottom of my paper as well. I'm going to use my pencil for this, holding it with one hand. I'm going to trace the outline of my pot. I want to use a pencil for this just in case I make a mistake, I can erase it if I go. If I use a felt pen right away, I won't be able to erase anything if my pen went under the paper or any, anything like that happened. Then I'm going to draw a curved line to the back of my pot and I want to keep this line very, very light because you will erase it later after you draw your cacti. You're going to erase that line so just keep that in mind. and a rim around my pot and I'm working with a pencil and I don't need to go all the way to the back because again my cacti are going to be filling in that space right there. Now I get to design my pot using different types of lines or shapes. Here are some examples of some designs that look really cool. So you can use these. You can use lines, straight, diagonal, vertical. You can use wavy lines, curved lines. But before I start decorating my pot, I'm going to divide it into at least four different sections for my designs. And I'm using a felt pen right now. So when you're at this step, go ahead and use a felt pen. If you First, design it in a pencil, using a pencil, and then go over it with a felt pen. It is going to take a very long time. So maybe I'll split that, and maybe I'll draw a line, a vertical line going that way right here. Maybe a horizontal line right there. And you can design your lines in your sections however you would like. So right now I have one, two, three, four sections. I want to add a little bit more. Well, maybe I'll add another one right here for some variety. Okay, five, that's good. At this point, I can go ahead and outline 
my pencil with my felt. Hey, now I get to design my pot with different types of lines, different types of shapes. For maybe I'll start with this section right here, and maybe for this one I will divide it in half again. And maybe I'll fill that in with. Mm, Diamonds that go whoop. And then they reflect going down. Okay. Maybe this next one is gonna be half of the size of the first one. And then another one going up, and I created a pattern. So I'm gonna follow this pattern until I'm finished with this section of the pot. All right, maybe for this section, I am going to draw um, vertical lines or diagonal lines that go side to side. And if I wanna space them out evenly, I can use my ruler to help me by aligning it with the previous line and drawing my new line. Maybe for this section, I'm going to do some alternating diagonal lines. to make some lines in here. Maybe I'll make some triangles in there. I'm gonna divide this into a few sections. All right, perfect. My pot is all finished. I'm gonna move on to making my cacti, but first I wanna look at some examples of some real cacti to see how I can place my cacti and think about the composition that I want or what placement I want my cacti to be in. So as you can see, there's a 